first of all, you when you put your house in, you, I used a compass. I got on that corner, I put a stake in, then I had my compass and I stood right here with my compass and I said, that is north put the next stake in and I went whatever 35 feet or something put the next stake in and that is what I used to set this up for the sunroom to work properly and then as you see I got two foot overhang on these things right now we're getting the best Sun December January but in the summertime when the Sun's straight up Sun never comes in those windows between May and September. They don't come in at all because I got a three foot overhang on there. See that? Now it's starting to already come down on, on the windows. It's uh, just not, not too far after afternoon. So if you'll notice, if you'll notice, the lines in my driveway are all north, south, east, and west. That's directly west because it's square with the house, the driveway is. Well, that's cool. But it's crooked with the lot itself. The streets are not square with the house. That don't matter, ain't very far. Just a little bit. See, it's closer over here than over there, it's farther away. But that don't matter. The matter is you use a compass to set your house up, otherwise your sun is not gonna work right. And uh, the three foot overhang, this is Missouri, so I got three foot overhang. And that's where the uh, uh, blocks the sun in the summertime. It don't come in at all in the summer. The sun comes from behind the house, comes up behind the house, goes over the top, comes down, and goes down behind the house. It don't ever shine in at all in here. So that's uh, my sunroom. I got a, it's about 22 feet long and about 8 feet deep. It's got a tile floor that gets it nice and warm in the sun. And it's toasty in there right now. It feels wonderful. And I got a double wide door on there on the inside. Then I open up them double wide doors. And uh, then uh, that's about it. It's nice in there. Huh? So I'm going to go in and warm up. Got these plants here, but they get kind of dry. You got to water them because they don't get much rain. It covers it pretty much. And I got that pipe piped all the way down the hill, that gutter pipe, so that this don't fill up with water, otherwise this will. Um, and if you don't have a good foundation, a good leak system closed up around good drainage, uh, your basement could leak. This one don't, because I got the whole house encased in two, in two inch gravel. The entire house foundation is filled almost all the way up to the top in two inch clean gravel, two, two feet wide, with drain tiles all over in the bottom of it, inside and outside the house, piped outside. The whole floor underneath the basement floor is covered with gravel. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, about eight inches deep of gravel underneath the basement floor and drain tile all the way around the inside of the basement floor <clears throat> and then pipe through the wall, through the footing, outside and down the hill, so the floor underneath the basement floor cannot uh, uh, hold water at all. Neither can the outside, because underneath that is all gravel. You dig down about a foot and there'll be nothing but gravel there. And there's all my cacti growing in the winter time indoors so that I can bring them out in the spring. This is January 23rd or 4th. 
you can see them. There are more uh, windows, door windows. They're made from the doors. I think they're like 78 by 35 or something like that. My son got a flat ceiling, got hooks all the way across. Had to put extra wood up there for all those hooks. Uh, just pull their returns, one on each side. And what that does is you turn the blower on. When it gets too hot in here, you turn the blower on and suck the heat out of here. That's the tile floor that I put in myself. More cactus. I like these edible ones here because they don't have any thorns on them. And I raise a bunch of them. Okay, so I thought I'd show you my son. These, these are double pane insulated glass doors, out there, exterior doors. They're heavy, and when I close that at night, it gets cold in here, and it's not heated, and right now, it's about 85. No, not that hot yet. And then Sassy comes in here, and she wants to sleep on the piano, don't you? Huh? Yeah. So anyway, and there's my peppers. Those are peppers. They're in a pot. They'll eventually get peppers on them. But I need to grow more food in here. All right, that is my sunroom. That is straight south. And then when, that cat, when it all lines up, with the center at 12 o'clock. Well, it's not exactly 12 anymore, but this is uh, south. And I just put my, uh, I just put my compass up whenever I um, put, laid the house out. And when, uh, that's why it sits Caddy Wampus on our lot because it's facing straight south, if you look at it on Google Maps. Holy cow, what happened? It looks like the uh, summer, all of a sudden it's summer and it's hot, it's 90 degrees, it's June, June 18th. Notice that there's no sun coming in. And there's flowers. Yeah, you gotta water them. I got my cactus outside. The flowers are growing, the grass is growing, and notice how the overhang blocks all the sun. The sun don't shine in the windows. So I don't have much sun in there and I can't sit in the sun in my easy chair, you know? Otherwise, it's bright and hot and all that's covered up, see that? Pretty cool. I'm gonna go back in and show you what it looks like in there in the winter time. In the summer, nothing. It's always shade. All right, I'm going back in to show you how nice it is. You've just gotta build yourself a sunroom. It's noon. See, no sun. Cool, it's all out there.